Let's learn about lines. Students, now we learn about different types of lines. This is a standing line. This is a sleeping line. This is a slanting line. Even this is a slanting line. This is a standing line. Remember students, a standing line is also called vertical line. This is a sleeping line. Sleeping line is also called horizontal line. Now let's draw some more lines. Standing lines. These are all standing lines, sleeping lines. All these are sleeping lines. Now slanting lines. These are slanting lines. Students, we can draw lines directly with our hand or using a ruler or using a notebook or with a compass box. Now, let's see how. Let's draw some lines using only our hands. Standing line. Sleeping line. Slanting line. One more slanting line. Now, let's draw some lines using this ruler. Standing line. Sleeping line. Slanting line. One more slanting line. Let's draw some lines using compass box. Standing line. Sleeping line.
स्लैंटिंग लाइन वन मोर स्लैंटिंग लाइन लेट्स ड्रॉ सम लाइन्स यूजिंग नोटबुक स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन स्लैंडिंग लाइन another slanting line students little homework for you i want you to search five different objects with the help of which you can draw lines so use those objects and draw lines in your notebook let us draw some curves now let us draw some curves All these are curves. Let us draw some more curves. Students, this curve looks like U. students now you tell me this curve looks like what correct this curve looks like n this curve looks like c and this curve looks like a reverse c now all these are curves we can draw curves directly with our hand or using a bowl a glass or a bangle let's see how let's draw some curves with the help of this glass so we have drawn these curves with the help of this glass now let's draw some curves with help of this bowl these are curves we have drawn with the help of this bowl let's draw few more curves with help of this bangle these curves we have drawn with the help of this bangle all these are different curves students there is some homework for you i want you to search five objects with the help of which you can draw different curves so use those objects and 
draw the curves in your notebook. Let us draw multiple curves. Now, I will show you some lines having multiple curves. Multiple curves means more than one curve. All these are multiple curves. Now let us draw some more multiple curves. These curves look like a letter W. These curves look like M. Now you tell me students, this curves look like? Correct, this looks like a 3. These curves look like reverse 3. These curves look like letter S. All these curves are multiple curves. The things that we see and use in our day-to-day -day life are also made up of lines and curves. For example, a wall clock, car, lamp, bowl, a glass. And there are many many different things made up of lines and curves. So now let's draw these examples using lines and curves. Now let us draw a wall clock. This is a curve. And this is another curve. Let's draw number markings with using small lines. This is in our hand using a slanting line. The minute hand using a standing line. So this is an example of wall clock using lines and curves. Now let's draw a lamp. Curve. Slanting lines, curve, standing line, curve, a sleeping line. So, this is an example of a lamp using lines and curves. Now let's draw a bowl. A curve. Another curve. One more curve. So we have drawn this bowl using curves.
Now let's draw a glass. A curve. Another curve. Slanting line. Another slanting line. A sleeping line. So, we have drawn this glass using lines and curves. Now, let's draw a car. A slanting line. A sleeping line. Sleeping line again. A slanting line. Sleeping line. A standing line. Sleeping line. Standing line. A curve. Another curve. So, we have drawn this card using lines and curves. Students, observe your surrounding carefully. You will see many different things made up of lines and curves. So, draw at least 10 objects in your notebook. But remember, use only lines and curves. Students, this is a digital clock. It shows the time and days of the week. The numbers and letters are shown using Lines. Let's draw numbers using lines. A standing line. Number 1. A sleeping line. A standing line. Sleeping line. Standing line. A sleeping line. Number 2. Sleeping line, standing line, one more sleeping line, a sleeping line, number three. Standing line, sleeping line, one more standing line, number four. Sleeping line, standing line. Sleeping line, standing line, one more sleeping line, number 5. Sleeping line, standing line, sleeping line, standing line, a sleeping line, number 6. Sleeping line, standing line. Sleeping line. Number 7. Sleeping line. Standing line. Standing line. Sleeping line. Standing line. Sleeping line. Standing line. Number 8. Sleeping line. Standing line. Sleeping line, standing line, a sleeping line, number 9. Standing line, standing line, sleeping line, a standing line, a sleeping line, number 10. So these are numbers using lines. Now let's draw alphabets using lines. A standing line. Sleeping line. Standing line. Another sleeping line. Letter A. Standing line. Sleeping line. Standing line. Sleeping line. One more standing line. 
स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर बी स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन वन मोर स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर सी स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर डी स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन अनादर स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर ई स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन अ स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर एफ स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन वन मोर स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर जी स्टैंडिंग लाइन अनादर स्टैंडिंग लाइन अ स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर एच स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर आई स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर जे स्टैंडिंग लाइन अ स्लैंडिंग लाइन अ स्लैंडिंग लाइन लेटर के स्टैंडिंग लाइन एंड स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर एल स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन वन मोर स्टैंडिंग लाइन लेटर एम स्टैंडिंग लाइन अ स्लैंडिंग लाइन वन मोर स्टैंडिंग लाइन लेटर एन स्टैंडिंग लाइन अ स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन वन मोर स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर ओ स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर पी स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन अ स्लैंडिंग लाइन लेटर क्यू स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन अनादर स्लीपिंग लाइन अ स्लैंडिंग लाइन लेटर आर स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन अ स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर एस स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन लेटर टी स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन अ स्टैंडिंग लाइन लेटर यू स्लैंडिंग लाइन वन मोर स्लैंडिंग लाइन लेटर वी स्टैंडिंग लाइन स्लीपिंग लाइन स्टैंडिंग लाइन वन मोर स्टैंडिंग लाइन लेटर डब्ल्यू स्लैंडिंग लाइन अनादर स्लैंडिंग लाइन लेटर एक्स स्लैंडिंग लाइन अनादर स्लैंडिंग लाइन लेटर वाई स्लीपिंग लाइन स्लैंडिंग लाइन वन मोर स्लीपिंग लाइन लेटर जेड डांसिंग फिगर्स यूजिंग लाइन्स नाउ लेट इज ड्रॉ सम डांसिंग फिगर्स यूजिंग लाइन्स एंड कर्व्स अ कर्व 
another curve. Standing line, a slanting line, one more slanting line, slanting line, another slanting line, sleeping line, one more sleeping line, sleeping line, standing line, a standing line. A curve, another curve, standing line, a slanting line, another slanting line, slanting line, one more slanting line, sleeping line, sleeping line. One more sleeping line, slanting line and a standing line, a curve, one more curve, standing line, a slanting line, slanting line, another slanting line. One more slanting line, a small sleeping line, one more sleeping line, a slanting line, another slanting line and a small slanting line, a slanting line, another slanting line. Students, there is some homework for you. You have to draw. Five more dancing figures in your notebook using lines and curves. Drawing emotions. Now let us draw some emotions using lines and curves. A curve, another curve. A big curve, curve, one more curve, another curve, curve, one more curve. Curve, another curve, curve, one more curve, a sleeping line, curve, one more curve. So these are different emotions using lines and curves. Students, there is some homework for you. You have to draw five more emotions using lines and curves in your notebook. Now let us draw a bird using lines and curves. A curve, another curve, slanting line, A big curve, slanting line, one more slanting line, another slanting line, a small slanting line, slanting line, slanting line again, a slanting line, a small curve, Another small curve. So this is a bird using lines and curves. Students, little homework for you. You have to draw 
five animals and five birds in your notebook using lines and curves. How to make use of grid to draw some figures? This is a grid. It is made of five by five dots. So, total there are 25 dots. A grid is used to draw proportionately. Now, I will show you how to draw some figures using the grid. Let's draw a kite. Slanting line. Slanting line. Slanting line. Slanting line. Slanting line. One more slanting line. And a sleeping line. So, we have drawn this kite using the grid. Let's draw a fish. Slanting line. Slanting line. Slanting line. Slanting line. Slanting line. One more slanting line. A curve. One more curve. So, we have drawn this fish using the grid. Let's draw a design for Rangoli. A curve. Another curve. Curve. One more curve. Curve. One more curve. Curve. Another curve. A slanting line. One more slanting line. Slanting line. Another slanting line. So this is our Rangoli design. Students, there is some homework for you. You have to draw 10 more objects using grid of 5 by 5 in your notebook. Remember, use lines and curves. My students wanted to buy some pearls for decoration. So, they went to the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper had a bangle of 10 pearls and loose pearls. So, when Anju asked for 13 pearls, the shopkeeper gave her a bangle of 10 pearls and 3 loose pearls. So, 10 plus 3, 13 pearls. Now, let's see what happened to these students. Arjun, Arjun wanted 12 pearls. Now tell me students, how will this shopkeeper give 12 pulps to Arjun? 12 is 1 tens and 2 ones. So the shopkeeper will give 1 bangle of 10 pulps and 2 loose pulps. One bangle of ten pearls, two loose pearls. So ten plus two is equal to twelve. Karan, Karan wants to buy twenty four pearls. So tell me, students, how many bangles and how many loose pearls will this shopkeeper will give to Karan? 
Then can tell me 24 is 2 tens and 4 ones. So 2 bangles of 10 pearls and 4 loose pearls. Two bangles of ten pearls. Four loose pearls. One, two, three and four. So now twenty plus four is equal to twenty-four. Yash. Yash wants to buy thirty-two pearls. So tell me students, how many bangles of ten pearls? And how many loose pearls? Tell me. Correct. Three bangles of ten pearls and two loose pearls. Three bangles of ten pearls, two loose pearls, thirty plus two is equal to thirty two. So the shopkeeper will give one bangle of ten pearls and two loose pearls to Arjun. Karan wants twenty four pearls. So, the shopkeeper will give two bangles of ten pearls and four loose pearls and two yash, three bangles of ten pearls and two loose pearls. Anju has thirteen pearls. Arjun has twelve pearls. Now, let's find out how many pearls Anju and Arjun together will have? Let's count. Anju is having 13 pearls. That means she has one bangle of 10 pearls and three loose pearls. One bangle of 10 pearls. Three loose pearls. Arjun has twelve pearls. So, one bangle of ten pearls and two loose pearls. One bangle, two loose pearls. Now, let's calculate total number of pearls. Let us first count loose pearls. One, two, three, four and five. So, there are five loose pearls. One, two, three, four and 5. One bangle of 10 pearls. One more bangle of 10 pearls. So, there are two bangles of 10 pearls. Two bangles of 10 pearls, 5 loose pearls is equal to 25. So, there are total 25 pearls. So, we can say that 13 plus 12 
is equal to 25. So, Anju and Arjun together are having 25 pearls. Now, let us find out how many pearls Karan and Yash together will have. Karan has 24 pearls. That means he is having 2 bangles of 10 pearls and 4 loose pearls. Two bangles of ten pearls. Four loose pearls. Twenty-four pearls. Yash is having thirty-two pearls. That means he has three bangles of ten pearls and two loose pearls. Three bangles of ten pearls. One and two. Two loose pearls. Now let's find out total number of pearls. First, let us count loose pearls. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So there are Total 6 loose pearls. Six loose pearls. Now number of bangles. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So there are 5 bangles of 10 pearls. Five bangles of ten pearls and six loose pearls. So that is fifty plus six is equal to fifty six. So total they are having fifty six pearls. We can also say that twenty four plus thirty two is equal to. 56. So, Karan and Yash together are having 56 pearls. Let us find how many pearls Anju and Karan are having together. Let us find this in tens and ones form. Tens, ones. Anju has 13 pearls. So, 13 means 1 tens and 3 ones. 1 tens, 3 ones. Karan is having 24 pearls. 24 is equal to 2 tens and 4 ones. So, 2 tens. And four ones. Now let's count total number of pearls. Three plus four 
is equal to 7. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So, 13 plus 24 is equal to 37. That means Anju and Karan are having 37 pearls together. Let's find how many pearls Arjun and Yash will have together. Arjun has 12 pearls. Yash has 32 pearls. Let's solve this in tens and ones form. Tens, ones. Arjun has 12 pearls. So that is 1 tens and 2 ones. One tens, two ones. Yash has 32 pearls. 32 is equal to three tens and two ones. Three tens, two ones. Now let's find total number of pearls. Let us first add 1's. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Now 10's. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So now we have 4 10's and 4 1's. 12 plus 32 is equal to 44. So now we can say that Arjun and Yash together will have 44 pearls. Simple addition. Addition without carrying. Students, now let us solve these examples of simple addition. We have 61 plus 37. 61 is 6 tens and 1 ones. 37 is 3 tens and 7 ones. Now let's find the total. Let us first add ones. 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. Now, tens. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. Now we have 9 tens and 8 ones. That is number 98. So, 61 plus 37 is equal to 98. Let's solve this example. 85 plus 14. 85 is 8 tenths, 5 ones. 14 is 1 tenths, 4 ones. Let's find the total. Let's add ones first. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Tens. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Now we have 9 tens and 9 ones. That is number 99. So, 85 plus 14 is equal to 99. My other students also bought pearls for decoration. Gauri bought 25 pearls. 
and Sahil bought 37 pearls. Now let's find out how many pearls Gauri and Sahil will have together. Gauri bought 25 pearls. So she has 2 bangles of 10 pearls and 5 loose pearls. Two bangles of ten pearls. Five loose pearls. Sahil has thirty seven pearls. So he has three bangles of ten pearls and seven loose pearls. Three bangles of ten pearls. Seven loose pearls. Now let us find out total number of pearls. Let us first count loose pearls. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. There are 12 loose pearls. So students, out of these 12 loose pearls, I can make one bangle of 10 pearls. One bangle of 10 pearls. We have 12 loose pearls. I made one bangle of 10 pearls. So now we are having two loose pearls. Let us count total number of bangles. One, two, three, four, five, and 6. So there are total 6 bangles of 10 pearls. Six bangles of ten pearls. Two loose pearls. So we have total sixty two pearls. We can also say that twenty five plus thirty seven is equal to sixty two. So Gauri. And Sahil together will have 62 pearls. Let us solve this example. Riddhi has 28 pearls. Tanvi has 36 pearls. Let's find out total number of pearls. Riddhi has 28 pearls. So that means she has 2 bangles of 10 pearls and 8 pearls. Loose pearls.
टू बैंगल्स ऑफ टेन पर्ल्स एट लूज पर्ल्स Tanvi has thirty-six pearls, so that means she has three bangles of ten pearls and six loose pearls. Three bangles of ten pearls. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six loose pearls. Now let us count total number of pearls. Let us first count loose pearls. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So we are having fourteen pearls. Out of these fourteen loose pearls, I can make one more bangle of ten pearls. So let's make one more bangle. We had fourteen loose pearls. Out of that, I made one bangle of ten pearls. So now we are left with four loose pearls. One, two, three, and four. Four loose pearls. Let us count number of bangles. One, two, three, four. Five and six. So we are having six bangles of ten pearls. Six bangles of ten pearls and four loose pearls. So total, we are having sixty-four pearls. We can also say that twenty-eight plus thirty-six is equal to sixty-four. So Riddhi and Tanvi together are having. Sixty-four pearls. Let us solve this example. Harsh bought sixty-nine pearls. Mohit bought twenty-six pearls. Let us find out total number of pearls. Let us solve this in tens and ones form. Tens, ones. Harsh bought. Sixty-nine pearls. Sixty-nine is six tens, nine ones. Mohit bought twenty-six pearls. Twenty-six is two tens, six ones. Now let's find out total number of pearls. Let us add ones first. Nine plus six is equal to fifteen. Now fifteen is equal to five ones and one tens. So I will write 
five in the ones column and one carry forward in the tens column. One. Now one plus six is equal to seven, and seven plus two is equal to nine. Now we have nine tens and five ones. That is number ninety-five. So we can say that sixty-nine plus twenty-six is equal to ninety-five. So Harsh and Mohit together will have ninety-five pearls. Let's look at this example. Nidhi has fifty-three pearls. Krushita has thirty-nine pearls. Let's find out total number of pearls. Let's solve this example in tens and ones form. Tens, ones. Nidhi has fifty-three pearls. That means five tens and three ones. Five tens, three ones. Krushita has thirty-nine pearls. That means three tens and nine ones. Three tens, nine ones. Now let's find total number of pearls. Let us first count ones. Three plus nine is equal to twelve. Now twelve is equal to two ones and one tens. So I will write two here and one carry forward. Carry forward in tens column. Now let's add tens. One plus five is equal to six. Six plus three is equal to nine. Now we have nine tens and two ones. That is number ninety-two. So. Fifty-three plus thirty-nine is equal to ninety-two. So we can say that Nidhi and Krushita together will have ninety-two pearls. Addition of numbers with carrying. Let us solve these examples. Thirty-eight plus fifty-seven. Thirty-eight is three tens, eight ones. Fifty-seven is five tens and seven ones. Now let's add. Let's add ones first. Eight plus seven is equal to fifteen. Fifteen is one tens and five ones. So let us write. Five ones in ones column. One tens carry forward in tens column. Now one plus three is equal to four, and four plus five is equal to nine. So we have nine tens and five ones. That is number ninety-five. So thirty-eight plus fifty-seven is equal to ninety-five. Let's solve this example. Forty-six plus thirty-nine. Let us add 
ones first. Six plus nine is equal to fifteen. Fifteen is equal to one tens and five ones. So I will write five ones in ones column. And one carry forward in tens column. Now one plus four is equal to five, and five plus three is equal to eight. Now we have eight tens, five ones. That is. Number eighty-five. So forty-six plus thirty-nine is equal to eighty-five. Addition of three-digit numbers. Let's solve these examples. Two hundred and forty-two plus three hundred and fifty-seven. Two hundred and forty-two is. Two ones, four tens, and two hundreds. Three hundred and fifty-seven is seven ones, five tens, and three hundreds. Now let's add. Let's add ones first. Two plus seven. Is equal to nine. Tens. Four plus five is equal to nine. Now hundreds. Two plus three is equal to five. Now. We have five hundreds, nine tens, and nine ones. So the number is five hundred and ninety-nine. So two hundred and forty-two plus three hundred and fifty-seven is equal to five hundred. And ninety-nine. Let's solve this example. Six hundred and thirty-five plus two hundred and sixty-two. Six hundred and thirty-five is five ones, three tens, and six hundreds. Two hundred. And sixty-two is two ones, six tens, and two hundreds. Now let's add. Let's add ones first. Five plus two is equal to seven. Tens three. Plus six is equal to nine. Hundreds. Six plus two is equal to eight. So now we have eight hundreds, nine tens, and seven ones. So. The number is eight hundred and ninety-seven. So six hundred and thirty-five plus two hundred and sixty-two is equal to eight hundred and ninety-seven. Now let us look at these examples. Four hundred and thirty-seven plus two hundred and forty-six. Is equal to how much? Let's find. Let's add ones first. Seven 
plus 6 is equal to 13. 13 is equal to 1 tenths and 3 ones. So, I will write 3 ones in ones column. 3 ones. 1 tenths carry forward in tenths column. 1 tenths. Now, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. And 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Let's add hundreds. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So now we have 6 hundreds, 8 tens, 3 ones. So the number is 683. So 437 plus 246 is equal to 683. Let's solve this example. 149 plus 268. Let's find out. Let's add ones first. 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. 17 is equal to 1 tenths and 7 ones. So, I will write 7 ones in ones column. 1 ten carry forward in the tens column. Let's add tens. 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. And 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. Now, 11 tens is equal to 100 and 1 tens. So, 1 ten in tens column and 100 carry forward in the hundreds column. Let's add hundreds. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So, now we have 4 hundreds, 1 tens and 7 ones. So, the number is 417. So, 149 plus 268 is equal to 417. Let's solve this example. 396 plus 187 is equal to how much? Let's count. Let's add ones first. 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. 13 means 1 tens and 3 ones. So, ones in ones column and tens carry forward in tens column. Now let's add tens. 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. 10 plus 8 is equal to 18. 18 Tens is equal to 108 tens. So let's write 8 tens in tens column. 100 carry forward in hundreds column. 
Now let's add hundreds. One plus three is equal to four. Four plus one is equal to five. So now we have five hundreds, eight tens, three ones. So the number is five hundred and eighty-three. So three hundred and ninety-six plus one hundred and eighty-seven is equal to five hundred. And eighty-three. What problems on addition? Rahul scored fourteen runs. Saurav scored twelve runs. How many runs they scored together? Students, we have to find runs scored by them together. So we have to do addition. Let's add using tens and ones. Tens and ones. Rahul scored fourteen runs. Fourteen means one tens, four ones. So let's write one tens, four ones. Saurav scored. Twelve runs. Twelve means one tens, two ones. One tens, two ones. We have to find total score. So let's add. Let's add ones first. Four plus two. Is equal to six. Now tens. One plus one is equal to two. So now we have two tens and six ones. That is number twenty-six. So fourteen plus twelve. Is equal to twenty six. So now we can say that Rahul and Saurav together scored twenty six runs. Let's solve this example. In a library, there were three hundred and forty five English books and two hundred and seventy eight. Hindi books. So, all together, how many books in the library? Students, let's find out total number of books in the library using hundreds, tens, and ones. Let's write hundreds, tens, and ones. There are three hundred. And forty-five English books. So let's write three hundred and forty-five. Three hundred and forty-five means three hundreds, four tens, and five ones. There are two hundred. And seventy-eight Hindi books. Let's write two hundred and seventy-eight. Two hundred and seventy-eight means two hundreds, seven tens, and eight ones. Now. We have to find total number of books, so we will add them. Let us add ones first. 
फाइव प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन थर्टीन मीन्स वन टेंस एंड थ्री वंस थ्री इन वन कॉलम वन कैरी फॉरवर्ड इन टेंस कॉलम Now let's add tens. One plus four is equal to five. Five plus seven is equal to twelve. Now we have twelve tens. Twelve tens means two tens and one. Hundreds. So, two tens in tens column and one hundreds carry forward in hundreds column. Let's add hundreds. One plus three is equal to four. Four plus two is equal to Six students. Now we have six hundreds, two tens, three ones. So the number is six hundred and twenty-three. That means three hundred and forty-five plus two hundred and seventy-eight. Is equal to six hundred and twenty-three. So there are total six hundred and twenty-three books in the library. Subtraction, give away. Namrata had eighteen pearls. She gave five pearls to Pooja. Now tell me, students, how many pearls are left with Namrata? Let's find out. Namrata had eighteen pearls. That means she had one bangle of ten pearls and eight loose pearls. One bangle of ten pearls. Eight loose pearls. Eighteen pearls. She gave five pearls to Pooja. One, two, three, four, and five. Five pearls are taken away by Pooja. So let's count number of pearls left with Namrata. One bangle of ten pearls, and one. Two and three, three loose pearls. So there are total thirteen pearls left with Namrata. We can also say that eighteen minus five is equal to thirteen. So Namrata is now left with thirteen pearls. Let's solve this example. Arti had fifteen pearls. She gave eight pearls to Mansi. Now we have to find number of pearls left with Arti. Let's find. Arti had fifteen pearls, so that means she had one bangle of ten pearls and five loose pearls. One bangle of ten pearls five loose pearls she gave eight pearls to mansi so let's take away eight pearls one 
टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ओनली फाइव लूज पर्ल्स वी नीड थ्री मोर लूज पर्ल्स टू गिव एट पर्ल्स टू मानसी सो नाउ लेट्स ओपन दिस बैंगल so this bangle goes away and we get 10 more loose pearls 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 10 now we have 10 loose pearls we have to give mansi 8 loose pearls We have already given her five loose pearls. So now we have to give her three more loose pearls. So let's take away three pearls. One, two, and three. So now we have given eight pearls to Mansi. Let's count how many pearls are now left with Arti. One, two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. So there are seven pearls left with Arti. We can also say that fifteen minus eight is equal to seven. So Arti had. 15 pearls she gave away 8 pearls to mansi so now there are 7 pearls left with arti let's solve this example bhavi had 25 pearls she gave 9 pearls to sakshi now let's find number of pearls left with bhavi bhavi had 25 pearls That means she had two bangles of ten pearls and five loose pearls. Two bangles of ten pearls. Five loose pearls. Now she gave nine pearls to Sakshi. So let's take away nine pearls. One, two, three, four, and five. Students, there are only five loose pearls. So to give Sakshi nine pearls. I will break this bangle and we will get 10 more loose pearls. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10. Now we have 10 more pearls. Sakshi wants 9 pearls. We have already given her Five pulses. So we have to give four more pulses to Sakshi. So let's take away four pulses. One, two, three, and four. Now we have given Sakshi nine pulses. Now let's count number of pulses left with Bhavi. Let's count loose pulses first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six loose pearls. Six loose pearls. One bangle of ten pearls.
वन बैंगल ऑफ टेन पर्ल्स सिक्स लूज पर्ल्स दैट इज सिक्सटीन वी कैन ऑल्सो से दैट ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस नाइन इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन सो नाउ भावी इज लेफ्ट विथ सिक्सटीन पर्ल्स लेट्स लुक एट दिस एग्जाम्पल संजना हैड ट्वेंटी सेवन पर्ल्स शी गिव सिक्स पर्ल्स टू निकिता वी हैव टू फाइंड नंबर ऑफ पर्ल्स लेफ्ट विथ संजना लेट सॉल्व दिस यूजिंग टेंस एंड वंस टेंस वंस संजना हैड ट्वेंटी सेवन पर्ल्स ट्वेंटी सेवन मीन्स टू टेंस एंड सेवन वंस टू टेंस सेवन वंस शी गेव सिक्स पर्ल्स टू निकिता सो सिक्स वंस वी हैव टू फाइंड पर्ल्स लेफ्ट विथ संजना सो Let's subtract. Let's subtract once first. Seven minus six is equal to one. Two comes down. So twenty-seven. Minus six is equal to twenty-one. So we can say that Sanjana is now left with twenty-one pearls. Let's look at this example. Rajesh had sixty-eight pearls. He gave forty-three pearls to Mona. Students, now let's find out number of pearls left with Rajesh using Tens and ones. Tens and ones. Sixty-eight. Rajesh had sixty-eight pearls. Sixty-eight means six tens, eight ones. Six tens, eight ones. He gave. Forty-three pearls to Mona. Forty-three means four tens, three ones. Four tens, three ones. Now let's find number of pearls left with Rajesh. So let's subtract. Let us subtract ones first. Eight. Minus three is equal to five. Now tens. Six minus four is equal to two. Now we have two tens and five ones. So the number is twenty-five. So Sixty-eight minus forty-three is equal to twenty-five. So we can say that now Rajesh is left with twenty-five pearls. Let's solve this example. Shefali had fourteen pearls. She gave six pearls to Aditi. Now, students, we have to find. Number of pearls left with Shefali using tens and ones. So let's find out. Tens, ones. Shefali had fourteen pearls. Fourteen means one tens, four ones. One tens. Four ones. She gave six pearls to Aditi. Now we have to find 
number of pulse left with cephali so let's subtract let's subtract once first 4 minus 6 students we cannot subtract 6 ones from 4 ones so we will borrow 110 from tens column so this 110 goes away and becomes 0 4 now becomes 14 10 plus 4 so now 4 is 14 now we can subtract 6 from 14 tell me students how much is 14 minus 6 count and tell me right that is 8 so now there are 8 pulse 14 minus 6 is equal to 8 so now shifali is left with 8 pulse now let us look at this example vijay had 52 pulse he gave 27 pulse to neha now we have to find number of pulse left with vijay using tens and ones so let's find out tens ones vijay had 52 pulse 52 means 5 tens 2 ones so let's write 5 tens 2 ones he gave neha 27 pulse 27 means 2 tens 7 ones so let's write 2 tens and 7 ones as we have to find number of pulse left with vijay we will subtract 27 from 52 let's subtract ones first 2 minus 7 students we cannot subtract 7 ones from 2 ones so we will borrow 110 5 minus 110 that is equal to 4 tens 2 ones plus 10 is equal to 12 so this 2 becomes 12 now we can subtract 7 from 12 12 minus 7 is equal to 5 now let's subtract 10s 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 now we have 2 tens 5 ones so the number is 25 so 52 minus 27 is equal to 25 so we can say that now vijay is left with 25 pulse subtraction without borrowing let's solve these examples 48 minus 26 48 means 4 tens 8 ones 26 is 2 tens 6 ones now let's subtract ones first 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 now tens 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 
Now we have two tens and two ones. So the number is twenty-two. So forty-eight minus twenty-six is equal to twenty-two. Let's solve this example. Seventy-five minus thirty-two is equal to how much? Let's find out. Let's subtract ones first. Five minus two is equal to three. Now tens. Seven minus three is equal to four. So we have four tens and three ones. So the number is forty-three. So seventy-five minus thirty-two is equal to forty-three. Subtraction with borrowing. Let's look at these examples. Twenty-five minus eight. Let's find out how much is twenty-five minus eight. Let's subtract. Once first, five minus eight. Students, we cannot subtract eight ones from five ones. So we will borrow one tens. Two becomes one. Five becomes. Fifteen one tens five ones is equal to fifteen. Now we can subtract eight from fifteen. Fifteen minus eight is equal to seven. Now this one tens comes down. So we have one tens seven ones. That makes number seventeen. So twenty five minus eight is equal to seventeen. Let's solve this example. Sixty four minus thirty seven. Let's find out how much is sixty four minus thirty seven. Let's subtract ones first. Four minus seven. Students, we cannot subtract seven ones from four ones. So we will borrow one tens from tens column. Six minus one is equal to five. Four plus ten. Is equal to fourteen. So this four becomes fourteen. Now fourteen minus seven is equal to seven. Let's subtract tens. Five minus three is equal to two. So we have two tens and seven ones. So the number is twenty-seven. So sixty-four minus thirty-seven is equal to twenty-seven. Subtraction of three-digit numbers. Students, now let's solve these examples. Four hundred. And seventy nine minus three hundred and fifty eight. Four hundred and seventy nine means nine ones, seven tens, and four hundreds. Three hundred and fifty eight means eight ones, five tens, and three hundreds. Now let's find out. Let's subtract ones first. 
नाइन माइनस एट इज इक्वल टू वन सेवन माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू टू फोर माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन सो नाउ वी हैव वन हंड्रेड्स टू टेन्स वन वंस सो द नंबर इज वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वन सो फोर हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी एट इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वन लेट सॉल्व दिस एग्जाम्पल एट हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव माइनस सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वन इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच लेट्स फाइंड आउट लेट्स अब्ट्रैक्ट वंस फर्स्ट फाइव माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू फोर थ्री माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू वन एट माइनस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू टू सो नाउ वी हैव टू हंड्रेड वन टेन्स एंड फोर वंस सो द नंबर इज टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन सो एट हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव माइनस सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वन इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन लेट सॉल्व दिस एग्जाम्पल टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी नाइन इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच लेट्स फाइंड आउट लेट्स अब्ट्रैक्ट वंस फर्स्ट सिक्स माइनस नाइन स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन नॉट सब्ट्रैक्ट नाइन वंस फ्रॉम सिक्स वंस सो वी विल बोरो वन टेंस फ्रॉम टेंस कॉलम फाइव टेंस माइनस वन टेंस is equal to four tens. Six plus ten is equal to sixteen. So this six becomes sixteen. Now we can subtract nine from sixteen. Sixteen minus nine is equal to seven. Four. Minus three is equal to one. Two minus one is equal to one. So now we have one hundreds, one tens, and seven ones. So the number is one hundred. And seventeen, so two hundred and fifty-six minus one hundred and thirty-nine is equal to one hundred and seventeen. Let's solve this example. Six hundred and twenty-three minus four hundred and fifty-seven. Let's subtract. Once first, three minus seven. Three minus seven is not possible. We cannot subtract seven ones from three ones. So we will borrow one tens. Two tens becomes one tens. Three plus ten. Is equal to thirteen. 
सो थ्री बिकम्स थर्टीन नाउ थर्टीन माइनस सेवन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स लेट सब्रैक्ट टेन वन माइनस फाइव नॉट पॉसिबल स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन नॉट सब्रैक्ट फाइव टेन फ्रॉम वन टेन सो वी विल बोरो वन हंड्रेड फ्रॉम हंड्रेड कॉलम सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस वन हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड सो लेट्स राइट फाइव हंड्रेड नाउ वन बिकम्स इलेवन टेन नाउ इलेवन माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू सिक्स लेट सब्रैक्ट हंड्रेड फाइव माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू वन सो वी हैव वन हंड्रेड सिक्स टेन सिक्स वन सो द नंबर इज वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सिक्स सो सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री माइनस फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सेवन इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सिक्स वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन सब्रैक्शन लेट सॉल्व दिस एग्जाम्पल देर वर फिफ्टी एट स्टूडेंट्स इन अ क्लास ऑफ दीज थर्टी फाइव वर गर्ल्स सो How many boys in the class students in this sum we have to find number of boys we have total 58 students out of these 35 were girls so to find number of boys in the class we will subtract 35 from 58 using tens And ones, tens, ones. There were fifty-eight students in the class. Fifty-eight means five tens and eight ones. So let's write five tens, eight ones. Of these. Thirty-five were girls. Thirty-five means three tens, five ones. Three tens, five ones. Now, as we have to find number of boys, we will subtract. Let us subtract ones first. Eight minus five is equal to three. Now tens. Five minus three is equal to two. So now we have two tens, three ones. That is number twenty-three. So. Fifty-eight minus thirty-five is equal to twenty-three. So there were twenty-three boys in the class. Now let us look at this example. Anju bought five hundred and sixty-two sweets on her birthday. She distributed three hundred and twenty-six sweets among. Her friends, how many sweets left with her? Students, let's solve this sum using hundreds, tens, and ones. So let's write hundreds, 
tens and ones. Anju bought 562 sweets. She distributed 326 sweets. Now we have to find number of sweets left with Anju. So we will subtract 562 sweets. 562 means 500s, 6 tens and 2 ones. She distributed 326 sweets. 326 means 3 hundreds, 2 tens and 6 ones. We have to find number of sweets left with Anju. So, let's subtract. Let us subtract ones first. 2 minus 6. Students, we cannot subtract 6 ones from 2 ones. So, we will borrow 1 tenths from tens column. 6 tenths minus 1 tenths is equal to 5 tenths. Now, 2 plus 10 is equal to 12. So, this 2 becomes 12. Now, 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. Let us subtract 10. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Now, hundreds. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Now we have 2 hundreds. 3 tens. 6 ones. So, the number is 236. So, 562 minus 326 is equal to 236. So now, Anju is left with 236 sweets. Money. For our daily needs, we have to buy various things from the market. For buying things, we have to pay money to the shopkeepers. Indian currency is in the form of rupees and paise. Rupees is denoted by this sign and paise is denoted by P. In India, coins that we have are 1 rupee coin, 2 rupee coin, 5 rupee coin and 10 rupee coin. Notes that we have are 5 rupees note, 10 rupees note, 20 rupees note, 50 rupees note, 100 rupees note, 500 rupees note and 1000 rupees note. Addition of money. To add two or more amounts of money, we simply add the numbers and write the sign. Let's solve a few examples. Rupees 25 plus rupees 12 is equal to how much? Let's find out. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. 2 plus 1 
is equal to 3. Let's write the sign. So, rupees 25 plus rupees 12 is equal to rupees 37. Let's solve this example. Rupees 65 plus rupees 28. 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. So, let's write 3 here and 1 carry forward. Now, 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. Let's write our sign. So, rupees 65 plus rupees 28 is equal to rupees 93. Let us solve this example. Rupees 426 plus rupees 248 is equal to how much? Let's count. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. So, let's write 4 here and 1 carry forward. Now, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. The sign. So, rupees 426 plus rupees 200 and 48 is equal to rupees 674. Subtraction of money. To subtract one amount of money from the other amount, we simply subtract the numbers and write the sign. Now let us solve a few examples. Rupees 49 minus rupees 16. Let's find out how much is rupees 49 minus rupees 16. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Let's write the sign. So, rupees 49 minus rupees 16 is equal to rupees 33. Let's solve this example. Rupees 73 minus rupees 39. Let's find out. 3 minus 9. Students, we cannot subtract 9 from 3. So, let's borrow. This 7 becomes 6. 3 becomes 13. Now, 13 minus 9 is equal to 4. 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. Sign. So, rupees 73 minus rupees 39 is equal to rupees 34. Now, let us solve this example. 
रुपीज सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी टू माइनस रुपीज टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एट इज हाउ मच लेट्स फाइंड आउट टू माइनस एट स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन नॉट सब्रैक्ट एट फ्रॉम टू सो लेट्स बोरो सेवन becomes six, two becomes twelve. Now, twelve minus eight is equal to four. Six minus four is equal to two. Six. Minus two is equal to four. Let's write the sign. So rupees six hundred and seventy two minus rupees two hundred and forty eight is equal to rupees four hundred and twenty four. Word problems on addition of money. Let's solve this example. Yash bought a book for rupees eighty-five, a ruler for rupees fifteen, and an eraser for rupees twelve. How much money did he spend in all? Students. We have to find total amount of money that Yash spent. So let's add. Yash bought a book for rupees eighty-five. So let's write rupees eighty-five. A ruler for rupees fifteen. Rupees fifteen and an eraser for rupees twelve. Let's write rupees twelve. We have to find the total amount. So let's add these. Okay. So now let's count five. Plus five is equal to ten. Ten plus two is equal to twelve. So two here, one carry forward. Now one plus eight is equal to nine. Nine plus one. Is equal to ten. Ten plus one is equal to eleven. So one here and one carry forward. Now this one comes down. Students, don't forget the sign. So rupees eighty five plus rupees fifteen plus rupees twelve is equal to rupees one hundred and twelve. So Yash spent rupees one hundred and twelve for buying these things. Word problems on subtraction of money. Students, let us solve. This example. Anju had rupees seven hundred and fifty. She bought a pizza for rupees three hundred and twenty-five. Now, how much money is left with Anju? Students, we have to find the amount left with Anju. So, let us subtract. Anju had. Rupees seven fifty. Let's write rupees seven hundred 
एंड फिफ्टी She bought a pizza for rupees three hundred and twenty-five. Let's write rupees three hundred and twenty-five. Now, how much money is left with Anju? So, for finding this, we will have to subtract rupees three hundred and twenty-five from rupees seven hundred and fifty. Let us count. Zero minus five. Students, it is not possible to subtract five out of zero. So we will borrow. Five becomes four. Zero becomes ten. Now ten minus five. Is equal to five. Four minus two is equal to two. Seven minus three is equal to four. Let's write the rupee sign. So rupees seven hundred and fifty minus rupees three hundred and twenty-five is equal to rupees four hundred and twenty-five. So now Anju is left with rupees four hundred and twenty-five.